Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex. And let us see what that terrier is serving up with this history on a platter. Today's topic is the red and black newspaper. It is the late 1890s in Tampa. The high school is located in the Wright Building, which is on Madison Street and Florida Avenue. On the second floor is the Daily Times, and the Tampa Daily Times office is located next to the high school. On the bottom floor is the printing press for the Tampa Daily Times. This is the golden era of yellow journalism, and in New York, two men are battling to be the king of newspapers, Pulitzer and Hearst, who are going to be handed a gift when the USS Maine explodes in Havana Harbor. Hearst is said to have stated, you furnish the pictures, I'll provide the war. And that's exactly what happens. Soon, troops are pouring into Tampa, the disembarkation point for the Spanish-American War. They're going to head to Cuba. It's an exciting time. The population of Tampa booms. Teddy Roosevelt is there, the Rough Riders, and many others. And by the time the summer ends, the United States has become a world empire. Realizing the power of the press, the students began their own newspaper, and they named it the Donnybrook Fair, based on a fair in Ireland, where it was said that cabbage and potatoes were hurled at all comers, so that none could take offense. It was a fair field with no favors, and that is what the newspaper aspired to be, fair to all. The first issues were written on a typewriter and hand distributed among the students. In 1907, the newspapers rebranded the Star of the Gulf, which seems to be a reference to Tampa as the star of the Gulf of Mexico in terms of transportation and a port city. The Doris Hill Cornerstone history states that in 1909, the newspapers rebranded the Red and Black because those are our school colors. Also at this time, you'll see commencement issues which began to have features we will recognize as yearbooks. The Hillsborian will evolve from these commencement issues. These early issues we would recognize more as booklets, but by the 1920s, the Red and Black evolves into a 16-page newspaper that we would recognize. In 1932, because of the Great Depression, there are no yearbooks, so they produce a special edition, which once again serves as a yearbook of sorts for the class of 1932. But shortly after that, the Red and Black ceases publication for a few years. The class of 1936 revives the newspaper with the advisor, journalism teacher Raymond Cashel. Also in this era, they had April Fool editions, which were usually printed on different colored paper and had names like the Black and Blue, along with silly headlines, funny stories. There was also an April Fool's edition called the Red and Wrong. During World War II, there was an increase in political cartoons, again showing the power of journalism. In 1952, the Red and Black produced a special edition which was printed on silver paper to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Big Red on Central Avenue. By the 1960s, the motto for the Red and Black was large enough to serve you, small enough to know you. This motto was used at least through the 1980s. And this is the centennial celebration issue in 1985. 
The 1998 through 1999 school year was the centennial year of the red and black, and you can see it represented with this terrier. In the early 2000s, the motto of the red and black has changed to Florida's first high school newspaper to reflect its great history. In late 2006, there was actually a hole in the red and black because students stayed late to cut out an article that the administration decided was inappropriate. They're invoking a famous Supreme Court ruling called Hazelwood v. Kohlmeyer, which states that you've got First Amendment right to free press, but at the end of the day, it is a school publication. The Red and Black continues to be published to this day. It is in a smaller format, but it's also a lot more colorful. It has also evolved online at hhstoday.com, so it is accessible to everybody. That's quite a history for a school paper that started in 1899. It looks like my press pass has expired, but to keep up with more of my HHS videos, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, take care of each other, and as always, Go Big Red.